Hello, in this video I will show you some techniques you can use to enhance interior photography in 3D LUT Creator. Frequent problems with interior photography include color reflections, which interfere with the correct perception of the color of interior items. Colored reflections can be caused by both window light and artificial light sources in the room. In this video I will show you how to fix them. I will move from simple to complex. Let's start with this photo. There is a red wall on the right side. It is off screen and it gives a red color cast. We do not see the wall so this color cast is not appropriate here and should be removed. Now this color on the grid is almost in the very center. It is very inconvenient to work with. I will choose HSPN color model in which colors that are close to neutrals take up more space on the grid. It has become much more convenient to work with this color. I will select three points and pull them towards the center. That is, red shades that are close in saturation to neutral colors have become completely neutral. The red color cast on the wall is gone. What else can I fix here? There is a slight blue tint on the floor caused by window light. Also, there is a small green strip on the ceiling. Perhaps the leaves on the windowsill give it off. I will reduce the saturation of green and blue hues and make them close to neutrals. Green leaves are not affected due to the separation of color by saturation. I will send LUT to Photoshop. Here is a photo before. There is a red color cast on the wall as well as blue on the floor and green on the ceiling. And here is the photo after. The color looks clean now. Let's move on to the next image. Here, the image is spoiled by the cool blue tint that gets into the room from the outside. At first glance, it seems that it is only on the window frame, but in reality, it is not. Since there are no blue objects here, I can immediately remove the blue color with one color ray in just one move. There is a slight purple tint on the frame. I will also remove it. The overall saturation of the photo can be increased. I will send a LUT to Photoshop. Here is a photo before and after applying the LUT. It can be seen that not only the frame was blue, but also the table, chairs, walls. I think you will agree with me that a photo without parasitic color casts looks much more attractive. Let's move on to the next photo. It is already clearly seen that due to the difference in color temperatures, the light from the window floods the right side of the frame with blue color cast. Let's see where this color is located on the grid. The blue tint has been eliminated. It only remains to remove the purple tint. I will also increase saturation. I will send my LUT to Photoshop. See how much better the shot looks now? Blue color cast has disappeared from tables, chairs, ceiling, from the wall, on which the light falls from the window. Everything looks very harmonious. The next photo has already been processed by someone. Here, the saturation of the blue color was raised a lot to make the sky richer in color. But because of this, there was such a strong reflection on the floor that it seems as if there is a pool of water in the middle of the room. I'm switching to square grid mode, pinning all the points and choosing exact tool. I'm going to alt click on the color that I want to copy and then click on the color that I want to repaint. There is a tutorial on the channel on how these tools work with the grid. If you haven't seen it, I will recommend you to watch it. I'm going to repaint the darker shades with circle grid, so I will compile the current grading into an external lot. Here's what happened. I will send LUT to Photoshop. The opacity of the layer can be slightly decreased so the blue light enters the room, but not so strongly saturated. The blue sky outside the window also lost its saturation, so I'm going to use a mask for the window. My LUT changes blue hues only, so there is no point in making the mask accurate. I'll just frame the window and fill it in with black on the mask. Done. So, let's look at the next photo. How can you clean the color here? The white details of the veranda don't look white now. How can you make them neutral? 
I'm going to use white balance first. It got better, but I can still go further. I will go to Curves tab and use Sat Sat Curve to make the colors that are close to neutrals neutral. I will adjust the saturation using Sat Luma Curve. I will send LUT to Photoshop. Here is a photo before. Here is after. White parts turn white, and I've got bright and clean color. Let's talk about the problems caused by the difference in color temperature of light sources. In this photo, the light source itself is not uniform. The main colors here are blue and magenta. Red and yellow obviously stand out here. I will repaint them using color grid. Pay attention to how well the repainting was done. I did not get any artifacts either at the border of the color transition or at the repainted area itself. On the next photo, light sources can be divided into three types. Purple, green, and warm white. I will repaint the warm white colors and make them closer to purple. Let's see where those colors are on the grid. Done. I will send lots to Photoshop. The photo before was lit with warm lights. I repainted it. The picture became cleaner again, but the yellow napkins on the tables also got repainted. I will not use brush to select the area with napkins. I will simply select this area with lasso tool and fill it with black on the mask. Since only warm shades are repainted, I don't need to create the exact mask. And the last photo for the day. Here, the turquoise hue is very strong. It is not clear whether this is such a light source or camera sensor is clipping. This also happens sometimes. I will bring turquoise hues to blue on the grid. Here's what happened. Here is a photo before. Here is after. Now this area in the photo is not jumping out. That's all. Write in the comments what problems you face when processing interior photos and whether this video helped you to solve them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in a new video. Bye everyone.